Hey everyone! Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Sarah and I make YouTube videos about The Sims. So if you haven't noticed, there's been a trend going around in The Sims community recently, um, building a house but every room is a different blank. Um, I've done a few of these challenges before, I'll link them down below, um, but there's a new one that I am trying today. We are doing every room is a different budget. I can't remember if this was suggested to me in a comment on here or on stream. Um, shameless plug, if you don't follow me on Twitch, make sure you go follow me on there. Um, but we are doing every room is a different budget today and I'm very excited. I have 10 different budgets for 10 different rooms or whatever in the house. Um, so let's just jump right in to the game. Okay, so we are on a lot in Newcrest Classic. Um, I made this shell, it's a little bit ugly, but basically we have bathroom, living room, dining, it's a really big dining area, um, kitchen, and then a back patio, backyard area, and a front patio, which I'm going to lump into the budget for the back patio, backyard area. And then upstairs we have a like kids room, a smaller bedroom, a master bedroom, and a master bath. So the first thing we need a budget for is the outside, how we're doing the outside of the house. So I've made this wheel right here, it's spinning, and we have 6,000, 6,000 simoleons for the outside. Okay, so we've got 6,000 simoleons to do the outside of the house so i think we should go with the most expensive stuff because like we we gotta spend we gotta use these simoleons so outside i'm classifying outside as different from the backyard so outside is like the outside of the house and the landscaping so sorry if you can hear the thunder behind me um i really hope my power does not go out because that would suck we could go like a yellow vibe i kind of like the yellow vibe except i do hate hate this right here um, but we're kind of going to run into that with most things. Okay, cool. We've used not even 400 simoleons yet. And maybe like a cute black roof. And then we need a roof trim, of course. All of this stuff doesn't cost money. But you know what does cost money? Columns. And what's our most expensive column? Ooh, maybe we could like luck out here with the columns. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go with the get famous columns. Windows are subject to change. Um, but I guess I should kind of really think about where the windows should go. You know what? I do kind of vibe with the get together windows. So we do have to use our whole budget. So I guess we need a front door as well. What's our most expensive front door? Ooh, maybe the cats and dogs front door. Let's do the island living sliding door because that's expensive. Okay, 2,000. 2,000 for landscaping isn't, isn't bad, isn't bad. I guess I'll include like the railings for the front porch and back porch in this just because then we can use that budget for like furnishing. Okay, cool, that leaves us with 1100 to landscape. So get a few hedges in here. Wait, I love being an expert landscaper. And if we need more money, we can just go with different columns. Okay, let's go with different columns. Let's go with different columns, that ain't no problem. Um, and basically the rule for this is you have to use the whole budget. Um, you have to use pretty much the whole budget. I will say I have to come within $100 of the budget. Okay, okay, this is the outside. This is the outside, I just need some terrain paint. Okay, cool, 13 simoleons left. This is the outside of the house. Um, I really like it. Okay, so basically that was the whole budget. Okay, I wanna get into the house first. Um, so let's roll for the living room. The living room. I removed the 6,000. Let's see what we get for the living room. Twelve thousand five hundred simoleons. Yay! Okay, so let's get let's get like our standard entranceway things. Okay, so all my standard um, entranceway things took us to eleven thousand um, three hundred ten. Um, obviously the easy thing to do would be to use cheap furniture and then put a desk with a ten thousand dollar computer in it. Um, but that's no fun. So let's see what we can do. We could use our like expensive furniture, but that. It absolutely does not fit the vibe here. Maybe something like this, but maybe with a chair that's less ugly. You know, I also don't know if I like the black and white energy from this. Um, so the most expensive TV that will fit is this one. It's hilariously large. Okay, that actually looks pretty okay. I'd say that looks, that looks pretty good actually. Wait, how do we feel about this really expensive, like, hallway table barrier thing? Like, it kind of fits. I kind of like it. How about a rug? Should we grab a rug? I like this rug for this area, but I don't like how it goes like halfway into the archway. I do like that. What if we get like a tall, like a standing up lamp for this area? Something like that is actually like cool because it's all by the window. It all gets natural light. Um, What kind of like 
uh, paintings can we put in here? I'm immediately scrolling to the expensive ones. It looks like, ooh, this one's pretty big. I don't want to use too expensive of a floor because like ideally I would like the whole like downstairs at least to have the same floors. And if we get really low numbers for the other ones, I don't want to have to commit to spending that much on flooring. I have no idea what kind of walls to go with either. You know what? I don't hate this. Um, we need something above the TV though, because it looks really dumb. Ooh, this will get us really close if we if we get this gaming console. These curtains are a little bit ugly, but they would get us so close to our goal. I think we're gonna have to do that, because look, we have 43 simoleons left. Like, we accomplished our goal. Okay, cool. There's our living room. Go, let's do the bathroom next. Let's do the downstairs bathroom next. What are we gonna get for the bathroom, guys? Stop, 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 stop. Mm, we got 5,000. We can do 5,000. That's fine. That's fine. And as we know, the season's door never fails me. So we might go with the season's door. Let's go with the really expensive toilet because it's unbreakable and I actually always use that one anyway. Our most expensive sink is this one from Get Famous, but it doesn't really have any great swatches that match what we're going for. Maybe the cats and dogs one might be okay. Um, how about... Can we put a bathrobe somewhere? I know it's a little awkward, but what if we put like a towel right below the window, you know? That would get us to our goal. That would get us where we need to be. <gasps> okay, I just realized that um we didn't do any walls and floors. So my favorite tiles are also some of the most expensive tiles. Okay, we are within 33 simoleons of our goal this time which is great. So there's the bathroom. Okay, we need to get a budget for the dining room. Um, okay, here we go. 7,500? Okay, so I also just realized I was in my display capture scene and not my game capture scene for the, doing the bathroom. Um, so my face was in the corner, so I don't know if that was good or bad, but this is the bathroom. If you missed any part of it, that's the bathroom. <laughs> this is a really gigantic dining room. One thing I want is back here to be a little desk nook, a desk corner, like something like that would be cool. I like, I just like that it's a little nook area, you know? Okay, so I actually have like five minutes until I um have to go do something. So this is also, every room is a different time limit and this one is five minutes and all the other ones are unlimited. So let's get in, let's get into it. We can go with a nice long table cause then we can also use up some money on the chairs. Let's get the same flooring right now while we're at it and the same walls. You know, maybe a like a white white dining room table with the with the dark floors is kind of nice. Okay, we're leaving the dining room here for now. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh the thing that I was going to do didn't happen. So, we are back um and we are furnishing our dining room and I forgot to turn on move objects. Let me just put a million of these little plants in here. What if we put a rocking chair? Like that would be kind of kind of different, kind of cool, fun, and interesting. I think it would be kind of fun to have like a little speaker area or something. I don't know. What do we think of that plant? Would the authority be better? The authority might be better. We should have some artwork of some sort. Okay, okay, 174. That's, that's, we're close, we're close. Ooh, ooh, we could put like a yarn basket. So this is like skill building slash dining room. And that leaves us with four simoleons wait i think we killed this challenge at least at least this room okay i love that now we need the kitchen okay let's get our next budget Ooh, ooh. okay three thousand okay so this video is literally cursed um just so you know my power went out like as soon as i start, started to do the kitchen which is great which is fun um which also means my wi-fi went out which means i can't log back into origin which means i can't open the game so i will come back to you when when I could do this video again. <laughs> okay, I'm back. My Wi-Fi came back as soon as I was done recording that clip. So we're back at it. I finished up the dining room. Like I just uh, redid what I had already done. Let's get some floors. We'll do the same kind of floors because I think that'll be okay. I think this wall will be fine for now. We'll see if we want to change it to tile though as like a black backsplash. Wow, I can't talk. I think the cool kitchen counters seem kind of nice. I don't know if they really go with our vibe. I don't know what really does go with our vibe. Maybe we need to choose cheaper counters maybe we'll go with the parenthood ones nothing too crazy for the fridge just your your most basic your most basic we i did not realize how um difficult this was gonna be oh we need a sink as well you know what we're just gonna do that it's fine we definitely need a bin so let's just get this 50 simoleon one. Oh, it's so bare it's just so bare i know i always joke about how much i love the authority but it's also 40 simoleons and we could put a few in here. Man, I really wanted this to be like a super nice, like traditional fun kitchen, but I don't think that's gonna happen. We can afford like a hallway table, a foyer table. Okay, I didn't really wanna go cheapest of the cheap, but I think we could save some money by going 
with the cheapest of the cheap. Because if we go with the cheaper ones, we can have three, a three wide island, which just fills up the space a bit better. Okay, we got a paper towel dispenser, that's nice. Okay, actually I just changed the game by going with these stools instead of the other ones. Um, what can we put on the wall? You know what? What about something from Dine Out? What about something from Dine Out? That's very kitchen of them. Beautiful. That's, that's the kitchen. Okay, now let's go upstairs um, and do the, the first bedroom. We'll do this bedroom. Let's get our next budget. A thousand! A thousand dollars for like a kid's bedroom. I think it's okay. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. First things first, we need some lights. Okay, so if this one's a thousand, that means anything in these ones is gonna be higher. So that's fine. Um, we'll do the hallway with whatever one we get a high number for. Uh, cause I didn't make a separate budget for the hallway. Let's get our cheapest items. We'll go with our nice cheap bed. I think it's fine. Um, we also need a door. It's very important that we remember a door. So the idea when I like made this room shape, I had the idea we could use the tiny living desk. Um, so that leaves us with 330 simoleons for everything else. So let's get a very cheap floor and let's get a very cheap wall. Should we go 170 for the dresser? That leaves us with 52 simoleons. Maybe like a cute dog decal. How much is that? Five simoleons? Okay, we'll have some cute decals. Ooh, maybe even a tree. They should have like a toy. How much is a toy? We can afford the classic wood mobile. Okay, yeah, we'll do the vase. And that leaves us with two. I had an, I have an idea and it's what if we don't do the desk and instead we get some like a different like a different kind of toy. Like we could put a blarfy there. Ooh, a scout board? Let's do a scout board. Okay, so as much as I wanted to use the tiny living desk, we're not going to because look at our possibilities if we don't. It's actually a pretty cohesive kids room. I mean, like the stuff all matches, right? Do kids like rugs? Do they like when we spend our money on rugs? Okay, I'm getting rid of the tree so that we can have some books, but maybe we'll just size up a, a different kind of tree decal. And there it is the kids room. Okay, so we have four budgets left and I thought we only had three because I was gonna group the hallway in with whatever. Um, and I'm also grouping backyard and front yard together. Um, but we have four budgets left. So that means we could do master bedroom, mat master bath, hallway, um, and then backyard, front yard is one, right? Okay, let's do the hallway next and see what we get for that. Okay, spinning for our next budget. 2,500? 2,500, okay, 2,500, 2,500 for the hallway. That's not bad, that's not bad, guys. Some lights, let's get some lights. Um, okay, so let's actually get a railing to finish up these stairs, right? Okay, wait, what's our most expensive wall? Is it this Get Famous one? It's a bit excessive, I know. Okay, and our most expensive floor is also from Get Famous, so we'll use that as well. There's really nothing, nothing else to put up here except paintings, though. Put one of those bad boys in there, leaves us with 306 simoleons. Uh, the painting, the painting, feels off guys what if we do a different kind of painting like this one this one feels feels better and that does leave us with 86 simoleons but I, I don't know how I feel about the bookcase we have the money for the authority to put right there I kind of like it I kind of like it I dig it I dig it let's do the master bedroom let's do the master bedroom next okay what's it gonna be oh I'm so stressed we have to 10,000 oh man oh man Okay, let's get our lights. This will be a very bright room because we need to use up our, we need to use up our money. What about the bed from vampires? Let's get some flooring. You know what? What if we went with the marble flooring? How about the marble walls too? I like that. I like that for them. Okay, we already have spent a ton of our money. Um, We'll put some plush rugs around. These rugs are pretty expensive and that leaves us with 324 simoleons. Maybe we should chill out. Maybe let's get a different bed. That leaves us with more money for like decor and whatnot. Dare I say a poof? Dare I say we put some poofs in here? Okay, new plan. We sell one of these. We move the poofs over. We get two of the big mirrors. And so now we can get a bookcase that goes on the wall like that, which leaves us with 34 simoleons. Now, wait a second. We could do the banana leaf walls and that would give us 105 more simoleons. And then we could put some little plants here. Maybe we'll do that. One of our cheapest rugs can fit right there. And it's a little it's a little strange, but I like it. Okay, it is time to get our master bathroom budget. It's either going to be 20,000 or 15,000. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! I really wanted 20,000 for the backyard. Okay, this get famous store is pretty expensive. So we're gonna use that. Oh, our most expensive bathtub 
is 12,000. So that takes up a significant portion of our budget. Um, our most expensive toilet is 5,000 and our most expensive sink is $900. Wait, this is so easy. This challenge is so easy. We'll use our most expensive floors. We'll use our most expensive walls. We need some toilet paper. We need some toothbrushes. We can have our soap dispenser. Like really all I want is a towel rack. So that's realistic. We have a towel in our bathroom where you would most likely need a towel. I think that's cool. I like that. It's very expensive and it still has what we need. It has our toilet paper. It has our little clutter items. I think I like it. I think I like it. Okay, so that leaves us with 1500. No, that leaves us with 15,000 for the backyard. I'm just gonna say, what if we build a pool? Like we could definitely fit a pool in here. We could do something like this. Like we could do a high fence. Like who would hate that? I wouldn't hate that. You can get some lounge chairs out here. I love that. You know what? I do kind of like this kind of paving. I mean, we could do like a whole outdoor kitchen. Like we could get crazy over here. Like, is that still kind of cool? Let's go with like the cute patio table as our outdoor dining area. We can, yeah, we can do like a little porch seating area. How about some outdoor lighting? Very important. Um, ooh, some tiki torches could be fun. And maybe like a beach towel or two. Wait, that looks like literally such a fun backyard area. Then lastly, we just need our front patio area. Maybe we'll do like a, just like a cute little outdoor space like that. Ooh, what if we did a hanging or a, a vertical garden? That would be so cute. Wait, I do love that. I love that for them. I really like these plants from Backyard Stuff. I think they're super cute and they fit so well right there. Okay, wait, guys, is this the house? I'm, I'm shook. Is this the house? This took me so long, guys. We did our challenge. We completed our challenge. I'm shook. Okay, let's do a tour. I'm gonna get my sim. Um, He's uncomfortable because it's poorly decorated, but that sounds like a him problem and not a me problem. So here is it, here it is from the outside. I think it's a very cute house Um, from the front. So you walk up and this is the, the front porch area, which is, it would be a very cute place to just sit and kind of look out over the neighborhood. I already don't remember what budget each room was. Um, so you come in here to our to our nice beautiful living room um, and there's also a bathroom right off the living room here just right when you walk in. Very nice. Come over here to our dining room with also a little office area with a computer. There's also a little knitting nook. I love that. Um, the kitchen maybe needs some updating for the next owners. They might wanna invest in updating the kitchen. So you come upstairs. So this was our 2,500 simoleon hallway. Then our 1,000 simoleon kids room. The 10,000 simoleon master, which is beautiful work in my opinion. It's beautiful work. Then this is our 20,000 simoleon master bathroom with the nicest of the nice everything. I mean, we could have had a nicer shower, but that way we were able to have our little accessories. Um, I love that for us. And then finally, the backyard, the backyard oasis, am I right? So you have a nice back porch area with a nice, you know, sitting, lounging area. Then you have this beautiful, gorgeous outdoor kitchen, um, a nice dining area, some towels to lay out, some chaises to lay out as well, and then the best, the beautiful, most beautiful pool with tiki torches all around to illuminate your nightly outdoor activities. So that's the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun filming it, even though I had I had some issues. It took me a really long time and my power went out, um, but it's okay because we finished the build and I actually do really like it. Um, this house will be on the gallery if you want it. My gallery username is Sarah Kendall with three L's because Sarah Kendall with two L's was taken. Um, and yeah, make sure you're following me on here. You're subscribed. Um, make sure you're following me on Twitch. I've, I've been streaming over there. As I've said, it's been a ton of fun. I would love to have you join us. Um, yeah, Twitter, Instagram, you know all the stuff. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Um, and yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!